We're on a mission to find Manchester's best cheap eats, and we're gonna try and keep it under around the seven pound mark. First up in our new series, we've come to the Ardale Food Market. Now you've got your traditional butchers, there's a fishmongers, you can even get your fruit and veg here. But there is a raft of contemporary street food traders serving delicious food, making this one of the best places to go for lunch in Manchester. Right, first up, Viet Shack. These guys helped put the food market on the map back in 2014, bringing with them fresh and healthy Vietnamese street food. And do you know what else they brought with them? Queues, massive queues ever since day one. There's so many dishes for under a fiver here. We've got the cow burger, Saigon summer salad. But you know what, my mind's made up. I'm going for this, four quid, the lemongrass chicken burger. When I went out to university, I've always missed my mum's cooking and stuff like that. So hence, that's why I always ring and say, mum, how'd you do this? It's pretty good, honest food and we're pretty humble guys and it is what it is it's just like good fresh vietnamese street food so yeah this has just got all those traditional flavors you'd expect from vietnamese cooking we've got the freshness coming through from the lemongrass and the coriander there's a slight acidity coming from the pickled carrots the bun's nice and soft that chicken is so juicy and there's just a slight bit of heat coming through with the sriracha mayo that's in there and for four quid, this is an absolute winner. Now, next up is the relatively newish kid on the block, Salt and Pepper. So it's ran by a brother and sister team, Cash and Chloe, and they've basically taken their parents' traditional recipes, made them their own, and just given them a little modern twist. And they are absolutely smashing it. We're Chinese kids born and raised in Manchester with massive influence from both cultures. So we want to merge those two together. The salt and pepper chicken, the classic, um, it's crispy chicken, it's seasoned, it's salty. It's cooked with garlic, chilies, onions and spring onions, fried in a wok. And then we put in the fresh chicken, mix it all together and add our salt and pepper seasoning. Oh, it does get really busy here on the lunchtime from 12 till about half two. I don't even want to have a look at the queue. <laughs> it just it stretches for ages. Mad. <laughs> Listen, if we're talking cheap eats and value for money, then this is the absolute bomb. Look at the size of that. We've got some Sejon chili mayo on here, some sweet sticky soy sauce, and I've had enough of talking about it. I'm going in. The chicken's bang on, the sauces are just right and the chips are going down a treat. If you're gonna go and have this in your lunchtime, try and get a little siesta in the afternoon because this is gonna fill you up. Now this place is Wholesome Junkies, the first ever vegan stall in the whole of the Ardale's history. Now, plenty going on on the menu, but I've been told I need to try one thing, the KFC burger. That's Kentucky Fried Cauliflower. So when I started this three years ago, I became vegan um, and couldn't find anything that sort of satisfied what I craved. So then I started developing lots of different uh, ways to make junk food plant-based. It's kind of dropping that stigma of boring falafel and hummus. Um, and we wanted to sort of bring something exciting with um, junk food, but making it plant-based. So this bad boy is coming in at £6.50 and look at it. That is a thing of beauty. Look at the melt they've got on that cheese. Okay, I'm going in. Wow, 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 wow. The coating on that cauliflower is so crispy. Cauliflower's cooked exactly how I'd like it. But what's interesting is they've got this sauce on the bottom, this mayonnaise, but it's a secret recipe. They won't tell me what's in it. They're not gonna tell you what's in it, but at £6.50, you should eat it anyway. Cheers. too long now, I think the oyster's been associated with fine dining, fancy restaurants, glasses of champagne, but no more. Here at Holy Crab, they're bringing the oyster back to the people. So tell me, um, if people don't know Holy Crab, mm -hmm. how would you describe it to them? We are a seafoods and oyster bar in the Arndale market, open seven days a week. 
for lunch and more. So the fact that there's an oyster bar in the yeah. Arndale market, that's incredible, isn't it? Absolutely, we think so. We love seafood and we thought Manchester was lacking in places to find good seafood and we decided to just go and try it and give it a go. Right, I'm going to get stuck into these now, if amazing. you don't mind. What type of oysters are these? So they're the Linda's Farm yeah. and they're absolutely amazing. Okay. And on here you've got a shallot vinegar, a soy and ginger and a Bloody Mary hot sauce. Thanks, Lou. Enjoy. So first of all, before we go in on these, it's worth pointing out three for seven quid. I mean, that is great value. Right, let's go in. I mean, they look fresh. They feel nice and chilled. Oh, that's incredible. It's just nice, plump, soft. The shallot vinegar cuts through it. And I've got that little oyster buzz. <laughs> Cheers, I'm going in for a second. Now this place is called Blue Caribou and it was opened by two fellows that refer to themselves as the Poutine Boys. It was opened as a direct reaction to the fact that you just couldn't get good poutine here in the UK. So when the owners moved over to Manchester from Canada and couldn't satisfy their craving for good poutine, they just decided to do it themselves. So poutine is cheese curds, chips and gravy. Essentially, that's the bare bones of it. The classic is always a good option because then you're getting the real authentic taste of Quebec. I think Northerners especially welcome the idea of cheese chips and gravy. Like everyone's had cheese chips and gravy after a night out. Everyone enjoys it, but this is another level to it. So we add, you know, different things, different toppings. We have a different special every week that's from a different part of the world, whether it be Korea, America. We try and like push it to that higher level. So this is the Le Classique, and you cannot complain at that for £5.50. They are not shy with their cheese, or the gravy, or the chips. Right, let's go in. Oh, man. That is just the perfect comfort food. The cheese squeaks as you're biting down into it. Those fries, skin on, crispy as, nice and fluffy in the middle. And that gravy, just so rich and thick. I love this and I'm going to eat every last bit of it. Cheers. Okay, let me introduce you to this place. This is Pancho's Burritos. Probably some of the most authentic Mexican food you're going to find anywhere in Manchester. It began as a little taco stall in Mexico City and then 10 years ago, the owner, Enrique, and his wife brought it over here to Manchester so that we could enjoy their family recipes. Well, basically, it's just uh, trying to bring proper Mexican stuff here to Manchester. We like to do uh, proper recipes, proper uh, spices, proper dishes. Right now, the English uh, society is more used to spices, like a proper chilies, more fresh, more uh, made from scratch. I can say that the porks are amazing. I mean, we can say that the pork in Chipotle is amazing. Okay, so this is the Pork Chipotle Burrito. This is the owner's favorite. It's one of their best sellers, and this is the one that's been recommended to me. Now, at £6.80, it's not the cheapest thing that we found in the market. However, just look at the size of that bad boy. That is gonna feed a family of four, let alone just me. Right, I'm gonna go in. Mmm. <laughs> So much flavor going on in my mouth. So inside, you've got the pork chipotle. It's juicy, it's succulent, and the heat's just right. I'm not gonna be able to get through all of that. But while we're here, they brought this over for me. This is their habanero salsa. Apparently it's quite hot, I'm gonna go in. There's the heat. It arrives. I mean, that is delicious. Don't have as much as I just did. It's hot. It's very, very, very hot. Yes, mate. So let's just have a little recap on what we've eaten. First up, a Vietnamese lemongrass chicken burger for only four pounds. Next up, a stack of salt and pepper chicken served with chips and rice for only six pounds. A vegan take on a KFC burger for six pound fifty. 
There was Manchester's most authentic burrito at £6.80. We had some of the best poutine you're going to get in the UK, never mind Manchester, for just £5.50. And even three delicious oysters for just £7. There you go, that concludes our trip around the Arndale Market. We have conquered the cheap eats. And do you know what? The beauty of this place is if you come here with a tenner, you get yourself something to eat, you're still gonna have a bit of change left to get yourself a drink. Who'd have thought there'd be a micro bar in the Arndale? And this place is pretty good. We're gonna be back with more of Manchester's best cheap eats very soon. To find out more, make sure you're following our socials. Just search for Manchester's Finest. Cheers.